Hey, Uncle Mark in the Mothership, and this is kind of a part two of my having fun with double stops, or as I always call them in my lessons, dyads. These are two note chords, and you play them together like you would play one note, or two notes together, or a chord. So a double stop would be like these two notes, as opposed to a whole chord. So it's just two notes, and uh, I'm going to denote these. The, the note you don't play is this bass string, and I'm going to put an X there. So this would look like X7-6. So that's going to be over here, and I'm just going to do the first little set, and then you just move them up and down between the frets, just like we did on the last, having fun with double stops. So check this out. This is very fun. It has a very Almond Z, uh, Almond Brothers feel to it, and I really like this a lot. So uh, check this out, and then I'll break down what I'm doing. very, very fun. So, like I said, um, double stops are two notes played at the same time. Instead of an individual note, I'm just going to play two notes as opposed to a chord. So, how I'm going to denote these again is I'm not going to... That's going to be an X. And then the D string and G string are... 7, 6. So it'll be X, 7, 6. And then it'll be X, 9, 7. And then it'll be X, 11, 9. Then it'll be X, 12, 11. And then 6, 4. X, 6, 4. So... I like to do double stops is it gets your fingers really nimble quickly. Double stops are a great tool for beginners to start working on other things besides chords, yet you're not ready to solo yet. So you're playing a song and you're playing an A. And you can just add that in there and it gives it a little more beef Yet, it's not, you're not ready to like rip out a big solo. You're just doing some little things to do some fill-in spots for your songs. Um, fill-in spots are really important. A lot of times you have a verse, a verse, a chorus, and then what do you do? Dyads or double stops are a great way to do fill-ins. And this lesson here will help you see and hear what these fill-ins can sound like. So again, we're starting in A. And the way I think of it is this D string, this note on the D string with your second finger here, that determines the key. So in A, you start your run with your dyads here on A. Then you would start again on D which is that D note on the 12th fret of the D string, and then the 14th fret on the D string is your E note. And that's how I determine where to start. So if I'm on A, I do the run. And I still am on that A. And then I slide this finger up to that D and do the same run. And then I slide back down and I'm using these dots. And then I have to slide all the way to the E. And 
So Playing dyads or double stops, how whatever you want to call it, will really up your game, and you can use them in many many situations. I use them, and uh, specifically when I play classic rock, I really really like them. But they're great for the um, for traditional music. Absolutely fantastic for traditional music. So if that's your thing, these are really fun to work on, and so. I just wanted to share these with you, and maybe we'll do some more of these little dyads when I just sit here and drink my uh, iced coffee and uh, think up new ways to have fun playing my three-string cigar box guitar, because that is what it's all about. It's all about having fun, enjoying your instrument, and trying new stuff. Just trying new stuff. Um, I do this all the time, and I can't tell you enough how much I find, you know, really cool stuff. So, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time, and uh, thanks for all the support, really, really appreciate all the support, and uh, like I said, yeah, we'll see you.